new outfit, holy shit! Please, please let me have a new outfit! Ah, so many familiar faces. Ah! Are you guys voluntary for shit? By the way, Scarlet is a guy. Scarlet is a guy. And apparently you're like the Jehi. Hello, everyone. Are you here to procure attire for the page? I've never seen so many characters on one screen. We are, although although I don't approve of the pageant itself. It's a town event, so I can't exactly ignore it. Honestly, who started this? Who on earth started this notion of making women compete on looks? It's disgust. Oh my god, my feminist girl! Oh my god, I can see the appeal of you now. You're like my Jehi. I haven't played Jehi's route. Leave me alone. I can't fight for free eleven days. Are you participating this year? Of course not. One of my subordinates will be entering. So does that mean you're entering her? Yeah, I figure it's probably more worthwhile than contributing money. I see, I guess you have it tough too. Does the pageant require you to do difficult things? I don't know, you just have to dress up and stand still on stage, that's all. But they force you to be judged on the whims of the general public and accept the results. It's more of a psychological hardship. Yeah. Are you participating of your own free will or are they forcing you? I'm doing it because I want to. I actually genuinely like the- I've never- Like part of me just went, being in a beauty pageant might be fun And then I look at myself and I look at the rest of how the world thinks women should look And I think, hell no I'm not supporting that Because I am classified as what the world would want me to look like Like skinny Just generally really exactly how society wants you to look and um i don't want to support that i support everyone being completely equal and i'm not doing it but part of me just went if i'm never gonna do it in real life i may as well fictionally do this i'm doing it because i want to i decided to participate i'd be told i'd be helping familiar oz if i did I have a bit of an issue with saying it that was at your own free will, but I guess you have a good attitude about it. Arena, could you pause your chat there and come over here? What is it, Mr. Karamia? Your voice is slowly starting to die as well, because my voice is starting to die. Give us. I think this fabric would suit Miss Jordan. That pattern is too bold. The simple one is much better. If you like that fabric, if you like that fabric so much, use it for a shirt or run away for yourself. Please don't force your tastes on her. Who's the one forcing their tastes again? <laughs> and then they're just quarreling. Then we're gonna be like... Why are the men the only ones can't work up over this? Mr. Kairi! Axel! <laughs> You're the one who'll be wearing it, Signorina. I think you should pitch something that you like. Could you make a decision before they get into an actual fist fight? They would. Oh, oh yes! She glanced over at Kairi and Axel, arguing as she reached out for a nearby striped cloth. So cute! Oh, but that one is too... It was her first time at a tailor. She was like a kid in a candy store. She wanted everything. It's hard to pick just one. I wonder what everyone else is going to wear. She looked around the store and caught the sight of Scarlet going to pay. I'll be back in a few days with the receipt. Until then. Scarlet! What? Are you planning? What are you planning to wear, Scarlet? Huh? And this, this is where... And this is the part where we find out that Scarlet's actually a guy. <laughs> Can't figure out which I what I should wear for the page. Don't I use the other year choosing a starting point? <sighs> oh, do you not want to tell me? I'm sorry, I don't. What on earth are you talking about? What? I'm not participating in the pageant. Why? Why? You're so cute. I'm a man. <laughs> I damn well do it. I was just like, yeah. I heard people say like him, and I remember clearly him. And now it's revealed that Scarlet's a guy. <laughs> The look on her fucking face. She's like, oh shit. <laughs> oh. Oh, I see. Uh, um, oh, I get it. So, Scarlet is in a. No, you fucking idiot! Oh my fucking god, you clueless. Clueless. So, Scarlet is an alias, and man is your real name! 
No, no, not at all. My sex is male. Sex. How many times do I have to tell you? I am. Oh, he's so. He's just like. Wow, she really is fucking dumb. Oh, I'm you're so tall. You're so tall. <laughs> Don't you dare laugh. Well, I guess you can't blame her for making that mistake. You, you too, Mr. Karamia. Scarlet is a man. I thought you were a girl. I'm so sorry, Mr. Scarlet. Well, I guess it's partly my fault for never mentioning it. Oh, you're so cute. You're so cute. Huh? Not at all, Mr. Scarlet. It's not something I normally. It's not something I normally talk about. I'm sorry, Mr. Scarlet. It's fine. Apology accepted. Just be more careful next time. Anyway, if you'll excuse me. Oh no! I think Mr. Scarlet's mad at me. He's not mad at you. He was in much worse mood when Kyrie spoke to him. Remember? Really? It's not just Scarlet. Kyrie has a special talent for rubbing people the wrong way. Does Kyrie ever rub people the right way? You wound me. Oh, that was a disaster and a half. Map. <gasps> told you! I fucking told you! I was just like, oh yeah, he's an option now. So this is the part where you would go, oh, there's a Caesar route, and then you'd go hang out with him. But fuck that. <laughs> I need more Kyrie time. I messed up. I need to catch up. More time. In oh, there he is. She found Kyrie in the living room, lounging on the sofa as usual. This time, though, he had a tea set in front of him instead of the documents he was usually busy with. He must have been taking a break. His eyes were resting on a little book in his hand. Mr. Kyrie, I have a question for you. Just one. Didn't even bother to look at her. He simply muttered in his reply, his tone unusually flat. What's the point of the beauty pageant? What sort of answer are you looking for? A simple one? <laughs> Only then did he finally close his book and look at her properly. There's a sizable difference in perspective, but depending on whether you look at it from a mafia's point of view or that of the townspeople. And from the mafia's point of view. I'll bite my tongue. Huh? I have no duty to tell you and you have no right to ask. But does that mean it's not something we should talk about? No, I just don't feel like it. <sighs> Why do I pursue you? You're just attractive and sassy and I found out why I pursue him still. Mr. Kairi! Now don't fret, I'll raise your spirits even higher than you'd hoped. I gather that you're not particularly concerned about the issues of perspective, but you just want some sort of explanation. I will offer you one. Now please sit. He tossed his book onto the table and folded his hands in his lap. If I were to explain from the perspective of the townspeople, it's simply for fun. Hey. I read ahead, because that's what I do. And I'm fucking... I don't dislike the pageant. It does allow me to enjoy beautiful women. And it better be me, because... Yeah, he volunteered me! Wait! <laughs> beautiful women. Yes, each familiar... Fam nah, uh, familiar, familiar. There we go, he's pronounced it. Selects beautiful women to participate. Everyone has different tastes, so there are some who aren't to my liking. So even you are interested in women, Mr. Kyrie. Even me? What are you trying to imply there that, by that? I think it's only natural that a man would have such an interest. Surely even you have I laid eyes on a captivating man before. I have. And his name is Kyrie. <laughs> I'm gonna really quickly save him because I fucked this up. I have. Of course you have, so why do you think my interest is so strange? <laughs> well, Mr. Kyrie, you're just kinda inhuman or something. I mean, you're a scarecrow. It's so very different, but it's kinda hard to wrap my head around what it exactly it is. I'm not really sure how to put it. Anyway, you didn't seem like you were interested in women, because you better be interested in me. You don't seem like the type to leer, either. Please don't hold back. I don't want you to take it the wrong way. I can't tell what I think about it, whatever you're trying to say, but I haven't had a woman speak to me so bluntly in ages. Are you mad? Not at all, I'm quite enjoying myself. I guess talking to women with low IQ isn't so too bad after all. Low no IQ? Uh, just getting a little revenge for earlier. This man is driving me fucking insane. La 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 la.
It's beauty page in the morning! Are you all ready for beauty page of day? Are you ready? Are you ready? You're most likely gonna suffer! Cause I bet evil editing me is gonna cut here! On the day of the pageant, not a single cloud obscured the clear blue sky. Kyrie's going to fall in love with me. He fucking better anyway. The wooden door made a pleasing sound when she opened it. Jordan closed her eyes as the gentle breeze ruffled her hair and the warmth of the ri risen sun caressed her skin. As she closed the door to the cottage behind it. Yay! We're establishing it's not a room anymore. She took the deep breath of the fresh air, smelling as a sweet, relaxing as the sweet smell of flowers filled her nose. <gasps> oh my fucking god! Is that our outfit? Oh my god, we're so pretty! Look at us! We're gorgeous! We look kind of like Mika from... Misa? Mika, Misa? The chick from Death Note! We look vaguely like her! I hope this is okay! She picked up a bit of her skirt and twirled. She checked herself over in the mirror numerous times while she was getting ready, but she was still nervous. She's so cute! Oh my... I'm sure it'll be fine. If something off, I'm sure Mr. Karami and the others will fix it for me. They might not be participating themselves, but they wouldn't keep just keep quiet and let it go looking like a fool. At least she'd decide to believe that. Okay. With a final encouraging nod to herself, she started walking. She left the shade of the roof and into the brightness of the day. Go! The gleaming sunlight made her squint. She heard footsteps on the grass coming towards her. The steps belong to... <gasps> we can choose who picks us up! Uh, no hesitation. <laughs> Mr. Kyrie! <laughs> My fangirl levels are... I love it. Wait, so if we got to choose... Did that just build more relationship points? It was fucking better! Good morning, Miss Jordan. You're looking lovelier than ever today. Oh, stop. Don't stop. Please don't stop. Alright, that was a white lie. I do love that face of yours. It's wonderful of how much an effect teasing has on you. Your teasing is going to actually be the death of me. I'm being honest when I say you look lovely. Have a little more confidence in yourself. You really think that? Well, more or less. I can't say you're the most beautiful woman on earth, but you're not bad. Bitch! <laughs> I do think you're pretty enough to make a run for first place in the pageant. I can't really tell if you're praising me or not. Let's just say I am. Wouldn't that make us both happier? Kumi and the others are waiting. Shall we? Do the elbow thing, like the elbow thing, and you like walk really fancy. Oh, look at it! It's so pretty! We look gorgeous, and everything is gorgeous. <laughs> For you guys, it's probably been a while, but for me, this has all happened in the span of like an hour. I've gone through so many emotions. So this is where the pageant is being held. Yep, that's the stage where you and the other contestants will be standing. It's a, it's a pretty attention-grabbing spot, isn't it? Naturally, all eyes are going to be on you today. I have I I, I was gonna do I was gonna do like a combination of all three of them for a sec. I have high expectations for you, Miss Jordan. Oh, okay, I'll do my best. Ooh, for make. Wait, yeah. Oof, it makes it odd spotted. I keep. I, I was just like, Malisi? Malisis? Where the fuck is he? And he's just there. Good day, friends. Hello, Ande, Mr. Malisis. And you too, Ailing. Hello! Oh, hello. I'm making her do like cute as much. You guys are super duper late. We've been waiting this whole time. You just got here too early. It's not even. No, wrong voice. You just got here too early. It's not even time for things to start yet. <laughs> we thought you guys got scared and ran away. Surely you jest, as if we'd ever lose to Familia Anders Anderson, even if hell froze over. What did you say? I mean, it's the same every year, right, Axel? Well, I guess you're right. Yeah, the past is the past. We won't be losing this year. Julia doesn't want to give up. Just yesterday, she ran three laps around the pond. Ran? Sure looked like she was swimming when I saw her. Shut up. If I say she was running, she was running. Brace yourself to bow down to Juliet's beauty, my little girl. Wahaha. 
I know you sure are bri brimming with confidence. And nothing else. There's no reason to worry about them. The competitor you should really keep your eye on is... Familiar Adelheid, of course. Heidi! Miss Heidi! I was surprised when I heard of... F when I heard Oz was participating, but I never th imagined all of you all appear. Wait, can I do a Scottish accent? I, I know someone who's Scottish. I think. No, I can't do it. Never mind. It was a double shock! But you know, little girl. Miss Heidi! What, we keep being called little. How short are we? Every time I look at you, I can't help but think of how gangly you look. Excuse me, but her body type is pretty much the exact same as mine, so you're insulting me as well. Gangly? Yes, I was triple shocked to hear you were participating in the beauty pageant! That's not true at all. The signorina, the signorina is plenty cute. If you could win on being cute alone, we wouldn't need a pageant! Don't you get it? You need curves to make a man drool. Curves! You look like a shriveled up carrot compared to Peter. She's got something to hold on to. I saw that when it did that and I wasn't going to point that out. The only conceivable winner of this thing is Peter, but be my guest and struggle in vain if you like. Let's go, Peter! Yep, I'm pretty sure now that you've pointed it out, it's really painfully obvious. A carrot. Well, something to hold on to. Guys! I would be... I'm going to save this because I don't even know. You know what? I think I'd be really annoyed because it's like, Hello, excuse me, this is about accepting everyone. I may be smaller than Miss Peter, but I do... But do you have to look at me like that? Ah, oh, sorry, I shouldn't have. You have your own unique charm, Signorina. Size doesn't matter. Yeah. Are you suggesting we ignore her physical failure? Excuse me! Mr. Kyrie? Hey, Kyrie, what are you saying? I'm only speaking the truth. Most of the void is the... Listen! Okay? <laughs> I... Honestly, I would... In real life, I'd just be, like, kind of embarrassed. And then I'd just be like... Excuse me, this is about accepting everyone, bitch. Most of the voters for the pageant are men, and Jordan, Miss Jordan's sex appeal is rather lacking. I know, how about I show, how about you show a little more skin? What the, no, I don't show skin. I don't, no, no, we don't show skin. I don't show skin. Even in real life, I hate showing skin. I don't show skin. Ever. Skin? Yes, there are plenty of other ways to improve your chances by adjusting the neckline of your blouse or the hem of your skirt. I'm against it. Thank you, Axel. Why? I think Jordan is more of pure appeal. I can't approve of forcing her to do something disgraceful against her wishes. Axel! You're so sweet! Anyway, it would be hard enough for her to win on that front anyway. The Signorina should just be herself. Alright, Kari? Very well, if that's the judgement of the Don as a consigliere, I must comply. Anyway, the contest is anyway, the contest is about to start, Axel. I'll leave the scene arena in your hands. Understood. I won't let anyone harm a hair on her head. Hey, let's just hope things don't end up like they did last year. Yeah. What happened last year? <gasps> the monsters! They covered up the baguettes. Where are Mr. Karamir and Mr. Kyrie going? Seats for the guest of honor. Don and the consigliere are expected to be present for the opening and closing ceremonies. There's nothing to worry about. I'll protect you. Protect me. This page is dangerous. I don't know if I should quick load and see what the embarrassed reaction would be. You know what? I don't know. I think... No. I think in reality I would actually... Mm. No, I'm conflicting because I'm going with what I think. You know what? If Kyrie doesn't like me, fuck him. I guarantee that it won't be. This isn't the day of rest. Anything can happen. It's entirely possible there could be someone. For fuck's sake! <sighs> can I not have a happy goddamn moment for fuck's sake, you motherfucking piece of shit? I found you, my prey. Before Axel could even finish that sentence, a silver-haired man appeared. He brazenly cut through the crowd and approached her. Caesar! Caramia turned around when the man spoke. He realized it was Caesar. He ran back to Jordan. Today isn't... Today isn't... I was about to make him have a Texas accent. 
<sighs> the second I saw him in the town, I just went, we're so fucked. Today isn't Sunday. Your ridiculous compromise isn't in effect today, is it? I won't allow. Hey, excuse me! Is that Heidi save me? <gasps> that's a new. That's a new Caesar sprite. Wait. Oh my God! He has a ponytail. Holy shit! He has a ponytail. I've only just realized this. A pompous voice cut Axel off. Heidi stood upon the stage, her arms crossed as she glared at Caesar. Caesar's eyes went wide and he blinked a few times. What? How strange. Am I hallucinating? Hallucinating? They can't talk. <gasps> Heidi, kick his ass! Meat! Excuse me, do you see these amazing curves and dare call me meat? Peter, tear him limb from limb! Heidi jutted her jiggling chins at him. Peter, who had been standing guard next to her, silently nodded in confirmation. Lifting up her skirt, she drew a knife from her garter. She whipped it from his she its sheath as she leapt from the stage towards Caesar. <sighs> Can't believe meat is giving orders to a human. Don't think you can beat me with a blade. Yeah, because from here, it doesn't look like his ponytail. Oh no, it does. It's like really subtle. Holy shit, he's got a ponytail. Fuck. Can I say I have a thing for like men with ponytails? Um, Rain from Free. Ugh. I live for that episode. Which episode was it? Like episode four or six, whatever. That there's a whole episode where Rain pretty much just wore a ponytail for the whole thing, and I just. Um. <sighs> Duh. God damn it. Don't think you can beat me with a blade. Heidi kick his ass. Sir, what should we do about Caesar? What should we do? Carry? Leave them to it. Familiar Ado hides Peter is most competent. Thanks for continue guarding Miss Jordan, please. Understood. Are you okay, Jordan? Yeah, I'm fine. I don't know Mr. Bad and Mr. Caesar, though. Are you? You are, aren't you? You're worried about him. He's trying to kill you, aren't you afraid? I am, but I'm not sure why. I'm kind of worried about him. And that's where... Yeah, why is he trying to kill us, by the way? Why just us? Is that going to be in his route? It like, kind of explains. I don't really understand it, but I have a feeling he's not really a bad person. And that's how we get his roots. <laughs> if self-styled anarchists are bad people, then this world must be full of saints. <laughs> No! 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 So? So, hurry and back me up. Huh? So? No fucking way. No! Not so! No. No! No! This is bullshit! Bullshit! Oh my fucking god, no! No. No, so, no, so, so, please, no! I can't even remember your voice. Okay, I'm back! Whoa! Damn it, don't trip over nothing! I'm sorry, oh my god, my baby, no! Fabulous, but like... I am so... You didn't know he's part of the wolf gang. Fucking! <laughs> no! I. <gasps> I think. Oh no! Then. I... <sighs> we were friendly with him. He can't be. He can't hate us. Oh so. No! Out of everyone, you can't just do so. One of Caesar's subordinates. I don't believe you. If you think I'm lying, ask him yourself next time you see him. I can't believe so would be a member of the Wolf Gang. No! I'm gonna 
to stop. I just I can't do this. I can't do this. Fuck it. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. That's enough. I'm done. I'm, fuck I'm fucking done. Screw this fucking pageant. I've been through so many feelings today. <laughs> okay. So this is going to be... I don't know how long this has been going for, but you guys have probably watched this chopped up. So this is going to be the one that tells you, hey, I finished the recording here. So thank you for watching. I'm not okay. <laughs> Fuck! I hope you guys kind of like the idea that I've done shorter videos and I know that the information you guys give me isn't exactly gonna get through real quick by the way still I do read everything you guys send me I do read it I can't oh I can't remember your name oh I feel so bad hold on I'm getting my phone I know your name I swear I know your name Oh, uh, you're on Tumblr and you're awesome. Thank you for like talking to me. Thank you. You're Karamia blog, so part of me just goes, uh, sorry, can't exactly follow you because I don't want spoilers. But like, you're still amazing and I love you. Thank you. Oh, uh, wh what's your name? Hold the fuck. Lavendel080. Thank you. You're amazing. Thank you for talking to me. I really like it. But seriously though, send me more information that would be kind of helpful that I've kind of missed. I don't think I've missed much. I think I worked a lot of it out by myself. But like, th seriously though, I really do enjoy this. Also, I do have a project and hopefully, ugh, hopefully I've actually finished it because my editor is shit as fuck when it comes to editing what I'm trying to do. So, yeah. Thank you all for watching. I'm gonna go have a mental breakdown. Okay, love you all. Bye. <laughs> Maze girl out. You know what? There we go. I haven't said that in a while. La 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 la